Hey nerds, welcome to another MIT App Inventor 2 tutorial and today's topic is a to-do list using a list viewer with a complete option. Wow, it's a lot. So this was suggested by two viewers, the first one being Wang Rock Ha. That's a mouthful. And the second one being suggested by Amando Dijin. I'm sorry if I botched that or whatever. But he commented, thanks a lot, it was super helpful, but I would like to request a plan completer so when is, one is completed with a plan, they can have it say something helpful like, good job, or I know you'll do better next time. So, let's get right on that. Start new project to underscore do list with, uh, that's, a, that's a lot of stuff, to-do to -do list. That's what we're going to call it. So, all right, the first thing we are going to add to this project is a list picker. Pick -er. <laughs> the text for this li list picker will be to do list. Isn't that a simple one? Hey, look at that. All right, so after you add that, you should add in a text box. And you don't really, there's only one. You don't have to rename it, but you can. Next, we're going to add our save button. And next, <laughs> we're going to add a notifier. And then we are going to add a media component called text-to-speech for that completion option. And then finally, we are going to add a tiny database, our best friend currently. So let's get right onto those blocks. The first thing we are going to do is create our list variable. So initialize global name. That global name will be list. Ain't that one simple, if I could spell it right. List. In that list, we are going to create an empty list. Wow. All right, so after you add your global list variable, the next thing you are going to do is call when button one dot click, add item to list. This list will be get global list. And then the item to add will be text box one dot text. Next, you're going to set the list picker item, so elements, to your global list. Ain't that one simple. And finally, we're going to save this to our tiny database. Our tag, I'm just going to use text for this one so that it'll overwrite each time, but it won't lose any data. It's just going to be to do list, using a capital D and a capital L to separate my words because I didn't want to use spaces for a tag. And our value to store is our global list. So it's going to store the list in the tiny database. So next, we are going to call our when list picker dot after picking. So what you do is when you open the list picker, you choose what you want to delete by tapping on it. So we're going to call notifier one show choose dialogue message title button one text all that good stuff. So what you can do here is just whip out all those text boxes. I only whip out one, and then control C, control V, title button one dot text button two dot text. So our message is going to be, have you finished finished your task? This can be anything you like. Your title can also be anything you like. I like to put mine as completion question mark. And our button one text, this does have to be the same. Yes for button one. Button two is a no. And then there is a cancel button just in case you don't want to be in that screen. So next, we're going to pick what the notifier does after choosing. So we're going to use an if else if statement for this bad boy. So click your statement, click your else if statement. We're going to call it an logic equals if get choice equals and then you can just control C control V on your yes box yes call list dot remove not append call list remove list item list and then we're going to pull over our get global list all right and our index is going to be equal to list picker dot selection index. Now you could have used selection, but because it's looking for an index, you want to use the selection index. What's weird is MIT App Inventor goes from one to whatever number of items you have instead of zero like most coding languages. Just a little thing to note there. And we're going to call tinydb dot store our object again so that it resets the list that we're storing. And we're also going to call our text to speech message and you can just drag down a text for this. 
for my message, I'm going to put congratulations, exclamation point, you finished something, exclamation point. Did I spell congratulations wrong? I did. I used a D instead of a T. Oopsie. And we're going to have our else if statement. So what you can do is just copy your if your logic statement and replace the no, yes with no. Make sure the spelling is the same as it was on the button or the block will not work. And all we're going to do here is call notifier debt dismiss project. Progress. It's like you never touch the thing. And that is all for this app. Now what it should do. Now, how it should work, you type your job that you want to get done into the text box, you hit the save button, and then you, when you want to view it, you hit your to-do list, and then you just select that. It should sound something like this. Congratulations. You finished something. And that's all for this one. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. I hope you guys have a great time. If you have any other suggestions for apps, be sure to do them down below. Bust it out two this week. Bust out any more if you guys request them. Just make sure you detail your request, and I'll do my best to get it done as soon as possible. I'm also learning Android Studio with Java, so soon apps will be coming out in that. The first one to come out in that will be a simple tally counter, because that's where anyone should start. And I'm going to try and use variables in it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and... Have a great day.